Today is December 4th, pastor saying to us, samples and patterns. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. When studying the Bible, when studying the Bible, be diligent to observe principles, samples, and patterns. As you read about the amazing life of the fathers, prophets, and apostles, you'll see samples of faith and how they framed the course of their lives with the word. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 11 says, Now all these things happen unto them for ensamples, and they are written for our admonition upon whom the ends of the world are come. The use of the word ensamples in the King James isn't exactly the same thing as example. It actually means samples. A sample is a specimen, an original that's shown to you like you say, this is what it's supposed to be. It's like a pattern or print given to you. Hebrews chapter 11 gives us a pattern. The Bible says, Now faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtain a good report. Hebrews chapter 11 verses 1 to 2. When you read further, you'll be inspired by the extraordinary feats of these great men and women of faith. What their faith accomplished for the kingdom of God. Hebrews chapter 11 verses 32 to 33. These champions of faith subdued kingdoms and did wondrous things in their time. They ruled their world. That's not all. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3 says, Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. In other words, the various eras were framed by the word of God, the rhema of God. The use of the Greek rhema here indicates that the word of God referred to was spoken through the lips of men. It's vital to note in this verse that God didn't frame the aeons, rather, through faith, the world system, with respect to social economic structures and environmental management, were programmed through God's word that came out of these men and women of faith. Hallelujah. It shows what you can do today. You can frame things in your life and in your world to synchronize with God's perfect will by speaking forth God's word. Please say this prayer with me. I follow the prescribed pattern of faith and the spoken word. My mind is renewed by the word to think the right thoughts and speak the right words that transform my life and circumstances. The structure and administration of my life are perfected in line with God's perfect will for me. And I dwell in health, peace and abundance every day. In Jesus' name, amen. For further study, please read 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, Romans chapter 15, verse 4, the Amplified Classic, and 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 11 of the New International Version. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read 1 John chapter 5 and Daniel chapters 3 to 4. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Revelation chapter 7, verses 1 to 10, and Amos chapters 1 to 2. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised Him from the dead and He's alive today. I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord for saving my soul. 
I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. 